Hey fellas, welcome to this new video. In this video we're gonna talk about my experience meeting the girls of Little Mix. It has been a couple of months since I met them, but I still wanted to make a video about it because I loved it so much and it was one of the best days of my life. Um, I got my cup of tea ready and I'm ready to talk. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So on Tuesday the 11th of um, December, the Dutch street team of Little Mix sent out these posts which told us that the girls were coming to Holland for an exclusive boat trip and that you could win tickets to like be there. Um, so yeah, you could join the competition. The only thing you had to do was uh, telling them why you had to be there and why you um, wanted to uh, go on a boat trip with the girls and uh, a bunch of other fans. So what I did is I um, picked my favorite song from the album, which is Woman's World. I love that song so much. It's an amazing song. And I made uh, a cover of it, changing the lyrics to um, my motivation. I will insert a clip of it right now so you can listen to it. It's in Dutch, so um, I'll probably just leave some translations under the video. <laughs> Want ik heb zo zoveel van hun geleerd. Houden van mezelf, dat is niet verkeerd. En alle dromen die ik heb, als ik hard werk, dan bereik ik het. Ja, dat hebben me ze geleerd. En ik ben zo blij met zulke niet tolen als zij. So yeah, I made that and um, I remember when they tweeted it, it was like 8 o'clock or something and um, I was sitting, because I have like my own music room where I can make music um, and I was sitting there and I was like, oh my god, I need to make this cover, I need to do it right now and I was, I, I told my mum, like, um, mum, Little Mix are gonna be in Holland this Friday um, so uh, I'm gonna join the competition <laughs> and my, I swear, my mum, she, she loves that I, I can't join the competitions, but she hates me joining them. Because <clears throat> the first time that I ever joined a competition was with Five Sauce, and I won tickets like very last minute, like three hours before the concert, and she had to drive us to Amsterdam. So, um, yeah, she didn't really like me for doing that, and now she kind of like hates the competition that I joined. So she was like, oh, not again, not again, not another competition. But I was like, yeah, yo, I'm just gonna do this. Like, I don't even care what you think. So um, I immediately made that the same uh, night and I posted it and if I'm correct they would send us messages on Thursday at around like 10 o'clock or so if, you, if you'd won you uh, would get a message. Um, so on Thursday I was um, traveling to Amsterdam with my dad because we had a dentist appointment um, so I, my dad was um, home so we could travel to Amsterdam together and I was sitting in a car and I was kind of like talking about the birds and the bees everything just like random things and um, then I was like talking about Little Mix and this um, trip and <clears throat> I was like hey maybe I can look on my phone right now maybe I got um, a message but I never expected anything to like um, be there so I checked my phone and there was nothing so I was kind of disappointed at that point um, but then I was like okay maybe they haven't sent like the the messages yet. Maybe I didn't start sending them. So um, what I did is I waited half an hour and I checked it again and my phone is not that quick so I had to wait a minute and then all my notifications started popping up and um, I saw this DM from Twitter and it said uh, hey dear Esme and you know, when you get a notification, you won't, it won't show you the whole message. So I only read like the first line and I was like, oh my god. The only thing, literally, the only thing that I did was this. Wait, I'm sure. Oh, so I was sitting in call with my dad, I was sitting next to my dad, and I read that and I was like... Just staring, <laughs> staring right in front of me and like... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what to say. 
and then I was like, I was opening the message so I could read the whole thing and it said like, okay, um, so congratulations, uh, you're invited to like the boat trip with Little Mix on this Friday and we need some, uh, uh, your name to confirm that you actually can go there. Um, yeah, so I gave them my name and I was at the, uh, whilst this happened, I was still like staring at the road. I said nothing, I was like, oh my God. But my mind, I. Don't get me wrong, my mind was going crazy. My mind was like, oh my god, oh, am I gonna meet little mates? What am I gonna wear? How am I, what am I gonna, what am I gonna say? What am I, all the things. It was all in my head and it was going crazy in my head. I was very calm on the outside. So I was like, I turned to my dad and I was like, Dad, I'm gonna meet little mix this Friday. And he being the Dutch person that he is was like, oh yeah, nice. Congrats. Mainly, I was freaking out right next to him, and he was like, "Oh yeah, nice." Like he did, he didn't, he he liked it for me, but he's not a fan of them, so he, yeah, you know, I understand his reaction. They made a group chat on WhatsApp, and we were like discussing uh, questions that we could ask the girls, and um, like when it got later in into the night, we were like discussing like uh, outfits and stuff. Because um, everyone was like, oh my god, what are you guys gonna wear? Like, I don't know. And <laughs> it was it was a whole mess. Like, we were so busy with like, oh my god, I want to look great. I want to look good. I want to, like, what am I gonna say? That kind of stuff. We were so busy with thinking about that. It was kind of funny. If I'm looking back at it now. Um, yeah, and it was, it was like very nice to have some people like around um, where you can talk to who we're going to experience the same the next morning because else I probably would have freaked out because I, I wouldn't know what to do, what to uh, say, what to wear. So on Friday morning I woke up and I got dressed and um, yeah I first had to go to like college because I'm studying in Amsterdam. Um, I'm studying at the University of Applied Sciences there and yeah, I had my lesson and I honestly, I couldn't really pay attention to the lesson because I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna meet my favorite girlfriend ever. So, um, yeah, that was my best lesson ever, but um, we didn't really do that much either, so it wasn't the worst thing ever. After I went to college, I um, went to Amsterdam Centraal, uh, which is like this train station in Amsterdam, and um, we... Uh, gathered there with all of the fans like around the piano um, so yeah I saw this group of girls standing there and I was like okay I probably should go there and it wasn't awkward at all it was not at all and I expected it because I'm not really a really social person like um, I'm kind of awkward with talking to people that I don't know um, but it wasn't at all right now I just went there and was like hey I'm Miss May and um, they were all so kind Everyone was so kind. So we waited for the other girls to come and then um, we went to like the ferry and we went to the other side of um, the eye and um, yeah, they, we get it there with all of us and there were some other girls who um, didn't get the chance to be on a boat trip. They were waiting there because they thought Little Mix would be there on that spot, but um, they weren't. Um, so yeah, this uh, girl from Sony Music uh, Holland came to us and she was like, hey, um, you can just go inside the building and then we'll pick you up in like about this certain period of time. Um, so we went inside the building and um, then like, 15 minutes later or something, this um, woman came back and she was reading all of our names and um, to check if everyone was there and uh, if everyone was a winner, you know, if there were not people that um, weren't really allowed to be there. So uh, then we uh, yeah, walked to the boat and we had uh, this uh, lover's boat um, and I, I've been on one of them before uh, on like a boat trip through Amsterdam and yeah I was like oh I know this one it, it, it are really nice boats it, they were really cute so um, I at the time that we were waiting on this woman to come to us um, I I talked to like three other persons and we really got to know each other a bit more and we were like hey shall we just sit next to one another um, and we were like hey yeah that's okay let's do that so um, before we got into the boat, we had to uh, make sure that our bags were checked and I was there with my bag full of 
uh, my, my bag with my laptop and all of my school supplies. So um, I was like, there you go, good luck. Um, but luckily I could bring like my big school bag. Um, so yeah, we got in and we picked our table and we got seated. And at the table, it was so cute. It was decorated so nicely. And at the table, they had these napkins, which are these ones. And they say, today is your day. And they're like bright pink and it's so, so cute. Um, and they had like all sorts of food and we could pick, pick our own drinks. And it was so nice. Um, and like, I still have to wrap. <laughs> I'm one of those fans who keeps like things like this. I also have still have like the confetti that was thrown at the One Direction concert. Um, but yeah, I got this one still. Um, but while we were entering the boat, we got this uh, lanyard and it, it has um, the little mix covers on it and it says LM5 event Friday December 14th Amsterdam and it was the most cute thing ever. I loved it. We were all like so surprised that we got one of these because um, yeah, they're, they're really cute and like it was especially made for, for us and yeah, I love that. So once we were all on the boat, we started to sail through um, like the hotel of Little Mix, and um, yeah, we uh, were waiting outside of the hotel like for like ten minutes or so, and we were all like, "Okay, I really need to pee." <laughs> um, but we there was like one toilet in like the boat, um, but we were like, "I don't want to go to the toilet because they might enter the boat." Um, so at the end, I I didn't end up like going to the toilet. Um, but yeah, we had to wait quite a long time for them to get in because there were a lot of fans outside of the um, like hotel that wanted a picture with them. So um, they first took some pictures with the uh, fans that were waiting outside and then got into the boat. Um, but yeah, when it came in, it was so it was so cute. Like um, Leanne and uh, Jade got in first, and we're like, "Hi, how is everyone doing?" And um, then Jessie came in, and she was very nice. And then uh, Perry came in, and Perry was like. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. I, I was stuck in there and yeah, they were they were so cute. Like once Little Mix and their team were on the boat, we started uh, sailing away and we were making this trip around the candles of Amsterdam. Um, if you're ever in Amsterdam, you should really do it because it's really nice to see. Um, you see all those places which you would uh, otherwise never go to. So um, I would really recommend doing that. By the way, the boat was playing like Little Mix music, like LM5 music, which was very, very nice. So once the girls got on the boat, we started sailing away and um, we started with a little Q&A thing. And as I mentioned earlier, we um, got to pick uh, questions because uh, Sony Music had to uh, approve them. So um, yeah, we got this list uh, with all of the questions. I got to ask one of the questions and it was really awkward. <laughs> um, yeah, I just got handed the microphone like, hey, it's your turn. And I was like, I'm not prepared for this. I can't do that right now. So um, I like turned around because like Little Mix was sitting like behind us. Um, so then I was like, uh, hey girls. And then I asked the question. I can't even remember what question it was because I was that nervous. <laughs> and I was, uh, I do remember that I misread uh, misread question at first. And I was like, oh my God, Esme, what are you doing? Oh, you finally got the chance to ask them something and you, I was going crazy in my mind. I was killing myself in my mind at that moment. But I was like um, asking them and they answered. And um, yeah, I didn't know how to like talk to them <laughs> at that point. Cause I was like, yeah, but I don't know how to, do I need to say hi girls? Do I need to say, how are you? Do I need to say, I was like literally doing that in my mind. Um, but yeah, I got to ask them a question, which was very nice. And then uh, after that, I don't remember exactly, but we either started with karaoke. Yeah, we started with karaoke. Um, so a few of people started uh, were singing karaoke. They did like two songs, and me and my table also wanted to do a song, but it was, they were like, "Yeah, we don't have time for that uh, anymore." So that was really sad. That was really really sad. But um, what was really nice is that Parry and um, Jesse have been dancing. Uh, at our table, they were like just standing like next to us, like dancing, and that was that was amazing. That was really nice because um, they were really having the best time of our lives. We were all having the best time of our lives, and that was really nice to see. Whilst we were on the boat trip, I had eye contact with Barry like a few times, um, and she would just look at me and she would like smile and make like 
um, lovely faces, like, mm, I can't do it. But yeah, Perry made like uh, cute faces and she smiled at me. And um, yeah, that made me calm down a lot. It made me feel so comfortable. And yeah, I, I guess I really needed that. But she was, Perry, Perry is, oh, Perry is lovely. She was the best. And like after all the karaoke thing, um, we got to take pictures with them. And uh, we were one of the last tables that got to take our, our picture. And at first, um, the people there said, okay, you have to take the picture with your own phone. Um, so I was like, okay, then I'm gonna download this app, because uh, you have like those screen recording apps. And I literally, I spent so, so much on downloading the app, because I there, there wasn't any Wi-Fi on the boat. So um, I had to use uh, data to um, like get the app, and I spent like, over nine euros on that so that's fucked up but after that we got to take our pictures with the girls and i was the last of our group uh, of our table to take uh, my picture and i had been thinking about this like the whole week like okay what am i gonna say what am i gonna do and i was like okay i'm going to um, thank them for everything they've done for me i'm going to ask them some advice for like music i'm going to um, talk about this i'm going to talk about that I did nothing, <laughs> literally nothing. I couldn't talk like that. Oh, th I really regret doing that because I want. I I planned it out so well, but nothing of it came true. Um, so yeah, I um, came there and um, I was like, "Hey guys, how are you doing?" And they were all like, "Hey, um, we're doing very well. How are you doing?" And um, I gave them my letter. Because uh, I wrote them a letter um, and they were like, oh my god, thank you so much, sweetheart, that's so sweet, thank you, thank you. So after that, Pari turned to me and she said, um, I've been staring at your head, uh, or what is it, uh, a barret, I love it. She said that and I was like, thank you. <laughs> I, I didn't know what to say, I, I couldn't talk English anymore at that point. Not that I, I'm very well speaking English very well right now, but it was... So much worse then, because <laughs> I I want I really wanted to respond, but I just couldn't. I couldn't find the words to say uh, thank you. But yeah, I, I, I said like thank you. Uh, that means a lot to me. Um, so I, I said that back, and then I was like, um, can I maybe have a hug from all of you? And um, Perry was like, Perry was the first one to say, and she was like, yeah, of course. She was she was very very happy and like bubbly and like oh yeah, let's do it. Um, and she um, told me like, okay, I might be a little smelly from dancing uh, at your table. And I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. So I hugged her and I was like, oh, you're not smelly at all. Um, then I hugged Jessie and she was like, hey, by the way, I love your figure. You look amazing. And I was like, thank you. I didn't know what to say because I, I'm like very insecure about my body uh, and my body type. I've never really loved it because uh, growing up I'm, I yeah, always had like, friends that were a lot thinner than me and uh, a lot smaller and I always used to be like the biggest girl of my friend uh, group and yeah it has affected me a lot um, I'm starting to love my body more and more but I'm still not at a point in which I can say that I l love it for like the full 100% so her saying that made me want to cry um, it really did and it still until this day it makes it makes me feel so loved and it made me feel so incredible happy and proud of my body um so i'm so glad that she said that to me that was like the highlight of my day her saying that she loved my body but when she said that i was like thank you um because it just hit home very hard you know um and i didn't know what to say to her else than thank you um i really wanted to say so much more but I couldn't I couldn't bring it out I couldn't find a words to say it at that moment um, so yeah that was very special and then after that I got to hug like Leanne and um, Jade and like it was amazing and then I got to take a picture this is my picture um, with them and um, yeah then it was like thank you so much sweetheart they called me sweetheart which I love I love that name okay so they called me sweetheart um, and they were like, thank you so much. And I was like, thank you. And I waved at them and they were like, bye. Um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm all smiling right now. <laughs> I 
I just loved it so so much. Um, but yeah, then I got back to her table and I was like, oh my god, that was very nice. I didn't say a thing that I want that I planned set on saying. Um, so I kind of regretted it afterwards. Um, but yeah, like. The thing is, I got to meet them, and I got to hug them, and I got to talk to them, and like, even though I didn't say the things that I planned on saying, I still had the opportunity, so I can't complain. I don't have the right to complain. I mean, I had a lovely day with them, so I can't complain. After we took the photos, um, the girls got out of the boat again, and um, they said goodbye, and uh, then we like ended a road trip at the place where we uh, began it. Yeah, we got out uh, the boat and we all walked to Central Station again and we said our goodbyes and I really I made some really good friends there. Um, I have two persons uh, which I talk to not every day but like I talk to them sometimes and yeah they're they're amazing. Um, I really I really loved it. It was like one in a million experience. I really love the little mixed girls. They mean the world to me. This experience was priceless, and um, yeah, I would do it all over again if I could. So this was the video. I'm so sorry if it's a bit long, because um, if it's about little mix, I can keep on like talking for hours and hours and hours. So um, I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible. Um, if you enjoy it, then make sure to subscribe and leave a comment or like the video. Um, I really appreciate it and yeah, I hope you guys ever get the chance to meet your favorite artist too because it's like, it's like a life changing experience and um, yeah, I just want to give you guys this one little advice to never ever give up because um, once you'll meet them, I'm sure and that might not be today but it will happen in the future. Stay kind.